Maybe Alexa, don't launch the nukes. No, no, Alexa, don't launch the nukes. No, no. Whitney, wake up, Whitney. The show is starting. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, Bunker Bot. I was just snoozing away. <laughs> I'm Whitney, and this is Thrashtopia! cool going on outside? You mean in the wasteland? Yeah, no doy, you big dumb pile of bits. <sighs> Scanning surveillance feeds. I have three updates on activity from nearby sentient life. Nice, lay it on me. In Burbank, California, two teens with severe radiation poisoning have fused together while doing hand stuff. Oh, damn, all right. In Venice Beach, California. A skeleton is still gliding over the waves on its longboard. Hmm. Doing what he loves, even in death. That's tight. And in North Hollywood, California, a gang of techno raiders are high-fiving over the corpse of their latest victim. Oh. Uh... Teamwork? That's cool. The victim urinated in their pants at the moment of death. Jeez, Bunker, but it... Seems like it kinda sucks out there. Do you think things will get better soon? All analytical data points towards the likelihood that the redevelopment of human society will come. All right, nice. <laughs> after countless lives are lost over centuries of tribal warfare. Oh, well that's kind of a bummer. Oh, it's the Techno Raiders! Initial scans show the intruder is not a Techno Raider. Oh my God, it's the teens that got fused together during hand stuff. And now they've separated, and she's absorbed his powers through his junk, and she's more powerful than ever! <laughs> oh, whoa. Mott Garrett? From the internet? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Whitney. Scanning guest. Guest is not a threat, nor is she a teen. Actually, my, my IMDB says I am, and I have been for some time, so. <laughs> yeah, no dub, Bunker Bot. This is Maude Garrett. She's like a super cool host. At least she used to be. What, what do you mean, what? How do I know you're not a techno raider, huh? You're not making me pee my pants. But I, I'm not a techno raider because I don't even like techno. All right, come sit over here. Come on, nice away from me, okay. yeah. That way, go on, stop that being threatened. This way. Get it on the internet often. No, nope, not that one. That's mine. This one over there. Yeah. All right. If you're really Maud Garrett, like you say you are, I bet you wouldn't mind me asking you a couple pop culture related questions. Wit, bring it. Let's go. All right. What's the movie, the famous George Lucas movie, mm -hmm. that has the robot in it that says exterminate? Interesting, interesting, interesting. <laughs> All right, next question. What does Gandalf say to Harry Potter before he dies? No! No! You do not get, you do not get to say that. You do not get to say that, no. Well, you've responded so far like the real Maude Garrett, but I have one question for you. All right, I will answer anything you want me to. Where is your accent? Damn it. <laughs> Where's your accent, Maude? Don't tell anyone. You know that since the apocalypse that we are a precious commodity now. We are being rounded up because of Mad Max. Man, everyone thinks that we know what to do in apocalypse situations and that we are genetically uh, inbuilt to learn how to survive. I don't know anything. I mean, that's what I assume because you guys got those like big bugs all the time. Yeah, all right, I'm not scared of any bugs. And I rode a snake once for transport, but still, man. All right, Maude. I will believe that you're you and that you're not a techno raider trying not a to get me for now. Yeah. 
So what's up? Hey, good, good. good. This is a really sick place. Thank Thanks, you. Man. Thank you. Yeah, I decorated I it. it myself. Uh, how's the cyber apocalypse going? Uh, real bad, man. Uh, I, I've been drinking a lot of beer to get through it because uh, that's what I do. That's good that they have beer still. Yeah, not, not cold. Mm. But you take what you can get, you know. It's probably pipe and hot because of the radiation. <laughs> Hot beer. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, not doing well for the aging that's happening uh, at, a, at a dramatic rate. Mm, mm. Because of radiation? Yeah. Oh no. Skin's falling off. Uh, it's, not, it's not great because as a host, um, you still have to look perfect at all times. Yeah, you gotta keep tight. Yeah, yeah. My hair is actually usually very, very silky and soft and smooth, but oh. you adapt. Well, you've molded it into a mm. shape that's presentable for the camera, I think. Presentable. Presenter. Presentable. See what you did. Yeah, okay, all right. Maud, do you still do hosting out there in the wasteland? It's, yeah, it's weird. So people still have cameras, because you know how everyone, the, the phone's fused onto their hands, so it's easier to take selfies, it's e easy to record. Uh, everyone's dying, um, the, how they die is recorded now, mm -hmm. so we can get accurate information. Um, being a host is easy. When there's cameras all around everywhere, you just gotta go into host mode. It's kind of cool. Oh, so you just walk into a tragedy that's happening yep. and start describing what yep. is going on? Yep, and it's all evidence, and then when that person dies, it's on record how they died. Interesting. You've yep. really adapted to the... You got it, life. man. Yeah. Well, you know, it used to be really cool and geek was mainstream, but then geek no longer is chic when everyone's dead. Okay, so what kind of things do you report on now? I mean, entertainment is still really big at the moment. Uh, we realize that uh, with death and destruction, it's not necessarily fun. So, to, you know, stay happy and sane and to, to find a, a reason to live, you do seek entertainment out there. Uh, a lot more directors, a lot of actors. A lot of them don't know that they're acting in the films at the moment because we're just recording. I like to call it the top form of entertainment, you know, like the destruction disaster movies. But what we used to call it were documentaries. So it was what things were actually happening, but now it's funny. Interesting. Yeah. So the actors are really just people who are getting their arms torn off yeah. or, you know, getting Yeah, we had like no budget for gore mm -hmm. and um, special effects. So we just are using what we have around us. Use what you got. Yeah. That's what I always say in my show, Thrashtopia. We use what we got. What I got is four concrete walls and a There's concrete a, ceiling. And it's a table. Floor. Oh, you got a tire? And a tire as a table. That's what I'm using. It's what I got. Anyways, Maud, who are the famous actors still? You know, we, ha we obviously, mm. we've got mm. Metacris. Yeah. Um, who is... One person. Yes, now. yes. One, but one demigod person. I'm glad you said demigod because he will never die. They, he will never die. Uh, the fusion, I covered that story when it happened actually. Wow. Yeah, uh, it was fantastic. It's like every female and their estrogen willed this entity into life. So it took all the best bits physically and, uh, you know, uh, personality wise into one. So we had Chris Pine's real fine, beautiful blue baby eyes got in there, yeah, yeah. And his voice, because he used to do like a lot of BMW commercials, but that's silky smooth the voice. He's smoother than this tire next to me. And then you also had Chris uh, Evans, who, you know, was Captain America. So he was like the hero that we didn't even know we needed, but we wanted a little bit too badly. And then you had Chris, uh, Chris Pratt and his cool little comebacks that he had. And, you know, it depends. He's like flexible. If you want fat Chris, you can get him, but it's also got fit Chris in there as well. And then Chris Catan had, um, well, in, you know, in the, the part that the fingernails made it mm. into the body. Yeah. Yeah, which is he was really, in monkey bones, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, and there are there. people that are still getting monkey boners over that one. So, yeah, the, that, that got in, um, you know, ha-ha, <laughs> we love uh, bananas. And, of course, the Chris that brings them all together, like the Chris, the systemic part of my favourite, favourite, is Chris Hemsworth. Of course, how yeah. could you forget? It's, yeah. He's the best one. Yeah, it's definitely not a thought spot when you um, think about how amazing Hemsworth is. And he just like carries everyone, you know, metaphorically and physically. He carries all the Chris's mm -hmm. on top, wow. Women, I can't believe we willed this to happen. Yes. Wow. This is feminism. <laughs> this is feminism. <laughs> yeah, this, this story, man, it made me from here to here. Wow, so you're Chris. doing really well out there. Yeah, but I'm part of the Chris Meta religion now. Yeah. Wow. I have do you to like, thank them. Do you like it? Do you like being part of this religion? Yeah. 
yeah, are you kidding me? It's the best of every situation. You know when you wake up in the morning and you're like, man, it's a brand new day. No, I wake up and I'm like, Chris, 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 Chris. Yeah. All the Chris's. Yeah, Chris, Chris. It's like, you gotta get high enough though. That's the hardest part. Chris, 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 Chris. Yeah. Oh, is that, that's the hymn? Mm. Chris, 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 Chris. Too Chris, high, but yeah, you know, totally get it though. Cool, yeah. Chris, but that's Chris. how I start my day. Wow. Yeah, people cry acid down their faces and their faces tear off, but I, Chris, 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 Chris. Mm. Wow, that but, yeah, that's <laughs> way more pleasant than having acid tears. Mm. Do people have real acid tears? I've seen it, yeah. Wow. Yeah, and someone was taking a selfie and their face ripped off in half, yeah. That's but I caught the story. awful because once you start to cry it, your, your face starts to fall off and that makes you want to cry more. Yeah, then that's why you're, it's gone. And then it's gone. Yeah, headless corpses everywhere actually. So you can't cry anymore. That's why you have to be happy and get Chris, 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 Chris. Oh, it's a matter of survival. Mm -hmm. Wow but in the best way possible. All right, Maude, honestly, you sound like you. Mm. You sound like my old friend that I knew from before the apocalypse. I just gotta ask one thing before I completely believe you. Will you prove to me your hosting abilities? Hey Wasters, Maud Garrett here with another Cyber Wasteland update. A Monkey Bone 2 is back in production after hitting a bit of a snag on D-Day when a nuclear missile landed directly on the Bone 2 pre-production office on the Warner Brothers studio lot. Now a team of celluloid hackers have managed to digi-scan a chunk of wall that had been blasted with the ashes of a PA who was reading the latest draft of the script. They have separated the paper particles from the actual human remains and have reassembled the screenplay which they hope to shoot this summer with the funds raised by the Temple of the Meta Chris. Chris Catan is still expected to star alongside Chris Pine, Chris Pratt, and my personal favorite for no apparent reason at all, Chris Hemsworth. A jumble of glowing wires in the shape of a human man that won't stop screaming and mansplaining is in talks to direct again. And this has been your Cyber Wasteland update. Back to us on the couch. <laughs> oh, that felt real good. I feel like I've done it like uh, a lot before. <laughs> well, I guess that settles it. <laughs> Whitney, it is time for this week's episode of Adulting in the Apocalypse. Oh, awesome. Now you can see the show that I make. <laughs> hey guys, it's Whitney here with another installment of Adulting in the Apocalypse. Now. I know these days a lot of you are skeptical about ties after the infamous automated tie strangling event that killed nearly every CFO in Silicon Valley. But I'm here to tell you that these good old fashioned analog ties are not only safe, they're also downright dapper. So let's look at how to tie one of these babies that my grandpa used to call a collar serpent. Step one, drape the tie over your shoulders with the backside facing out. Make sure the wide end is on your left and the skinny end is on your right. Pull the wide end down so it dangles just above your belly button. Bring the wide end under the skinny end, then wrap it around so that it points toward your left hip. Bring the wide end up and under your neck loop, then slip it right through the loop you've made at your collar. Now just grab the knot with one hand and the skinny end with the other. Tug down and push the knot up to adjust. <laughs> Bad Whitney. <laughs> I'm hungry. Hi. Uh, so that's the show. Um, that's how you tie a tie. Thanks for watching and next time, we're gonna learn how to build a flamethrower that can burn ties with nothing but a flamethrower and a lot of fire. What do you wanna do now, Mark? Whitney, it is time for your mandatory activity. Aw, oh, dang, okay. It's time to destroy technology. What, really? Now, this is like a exercising my brain or my body. Is this like a triceps thing or a biceps thing? Neither. While the planet is currently lacking in both flora and fauna, it is ironically lousy with technology. You are providing a public service. All right, sick. Let's do it. <laughs> Whoa. 
All right, well, I feel like this is going to be pretty cathartic for us, seeing as how the AI took over and computers are generally pretty mean to us now, so. Yeah, I lost my sister. She got uploaded. Oh, no, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, I mean, it happens. It happens the best of it. And I was just like, man, stop. Have a pet. Let's do it. <laughs> ah! 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my god! Uh, I love this. is complete. Your reward is burger in a can. Ooh, thanks, Bunker Butt. Mmm, burgers. Yum. I haven't eaten for like nine weeks. Yeah. Mmm, yeah, burger time. All right. Oh. 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 Hey, Bunkerbot, uh, these look pretty fucking disgusting. Can we just smash these instead of eating them? Okay. Awesome! <laughs> yeah! Smash the burger! <laughs> Whitney! That is all the time we have for today's episode. You have two minutes before the feed will be cut. Oh, we gotta mash it out, come on! Okay. This week, I'm mashing out my frustrations with the state of the cyber dystopia. I think we all learned that sometimes the end of the world can be dope. See you next week. <laughs>